Hello, my name is Bryant Myers, author of the book PEMF, The Fifth Element of Health. So now I want to talk in a little more detail on the body-mind-earth connection, the 0 to 30 hertz range. So let's begin by looking at the study done by Addy and Bowen, where they found that cells respond primarily to 0 to 30 hertz, meaning if you use frequencies higher than 30 hertz, you know, the cells just don't really respond to those higher frequencies. And in their particular study, they found a peak around 16 or so hertz, which would be correspond roughly to the second harmonic of the Schumann resonance. But you can still see, though, that the cells are tuned to the 0 to 30 hertz range. Now, a study done by Siskin and Walker, they found that tissues in the body seem to primarily also respond to 0 to 30 hertz. Like, for example, nerve regeneration happens around 2 hertz, bone growth around 7 hertz, ligament healing around 10 hertz, and then the stimulation of uh, capillary formation uh, 15 and 20 hertz. We can see a beautiful picture of the Schumann resonance juxtaposed with the, br- the brain alpha state. So alpha in brain state research is sort of a very relaxed state of mind. Like I mentioned earlier in my first video is that the brain operates roughly at 0 to 30 hertz from low delta up to high beta. But the Schumann resonance, interestingly, is right at this very relaxed alpha state. So brain state research also confirms that the 0 to 30 hertz range is what our brains operate at. We can see a study done by Zimmerman and also confirmed by Sato in Japan done on Reiki healers and Qigong masters showing that our bodies actually emit 0 to 30 hertz. In fact, not only like from the hands of these Reiki healers did they admit 0 to 30 hertz, but their, their hands literally were scanning up and down the 0 to 30 hertz range. So it wasn't like the, the hands are just emitting one frequency. We actually emit all the frequencies in this earth frequency range. So think about that for a minute. So our, our tissues and cells resonate to 0 to 30 hertz. Our brain operates at 0 to 30 hertz. And we even emit up and down in a scanning fashion 0 to 30 hertz. And remember, the earth itself primarily is giving us a 0 to 30 hertz frequency. So here's kind of a summary. And I showed the slide at the beginning of the first video. And this really just ties it all together. The body-mind-earth connection. The earth's frequencies, 0 to 30 hertz. The brain waves, 0 to 30 hertz. Our tissues and cells operate at 0 to 30 hertz. And we even project 0 to 30 hertz from our bodies. So you can see this intimate connection we have with our planet Earth and also our body and mind. So now let's get into um, this idea of PEMF being a whole-body battery charger. So I kind of mentioned that in the first video, but the cells are literally miniature batteries. You know, we have 100 trillion cells, and cells are batteries, and batteries are cells. In fact, the word battery is a collection of two or more cells by definition. And our cells in our body are able to store 10 million volts per meter, meaning we have a cell membrane that's about 7 nanometers across, And the voltage across the cell membrane is around 70 millivolts for a healthy cell. Now, when we get sick, our cellular voltage will diminish. So there's a direct connection between your health and your cellular voltage. Uh, Dr. Otto Warburg did some of the pioneering research on the connection between voltage and health. And he found that healthy cells have around 70 and even upwards to 120 millivolts. And if you have chronic illness or disease the voltages start to plummet. And, you know, many different chronic illnesses can have voltages as low as 30 to 50 millivolts. And cancer can be like 10, 15, 20 or below. And interestingly, we never hear about heart cancer. And it's because the heart is the most energetic organ in our body. And heart cells will have that 120 millivolts of voltage. In fact, the field in our body extends 15 feet out into space as detected by science. And it's the heart field that's what's going out the farthest. So here's seven ways that PMF recharges your cells. And I go into detail in my book on this, but just to very briefly summarize. First, 
PEMF recharges the transmembrane potential. That's called TMP. And that's basically the voltage across the cell membrane. It also increases ATP production in the mitochondria. And so the TMP and ATP are the two primary ways the cells store energy. It enhances the sodium potassium pump. So it gives a net positive charge on the outside of the cell. Increases cellular pH. And pH, interestingly, pH meters are voltmeters. pH is a direct measure of the voltage of your cell. So if you have healthy cells, you're going to be in a slightly alkaline environment. PMF helps to oxygenate the cells. It helps to lower blood viscosity, improves circulation and microcirculation. And it creates a healthy level of electroporation. Electroporation literally means helping through using electricity or magnetism to make the cells more porous. And this will allow nutrients to go in the cells more effectively and waste products to go out. But we have a twofold problem. You know, the fact that this is why we need to supplement with PEMF. And the first part of the twofold problem is we're simply not getting enough of the good frequencies of the earth. And along with that, our earth's magnetic field is declining in intensity or strength. Another reason we don't get enough of the good is that we're also very insulated. You know, we spend a lot of time indoors. You know, the average person spends most of their time inside. We drive with cars with rubber tires. We walk in shoes with rubber soles. We sleep in insulated beds. And we're spending a majority of our time in concrete and steel structures. So this divorces us or disconnects us from the Earth's natural uh, magnetic field. Part one is we're not getting enough of the good frequencies. And part two is we're getting too much of the bad. And the bad frequencies are your electrosmog. You know, I go into detail in my book on this. But the two main types of electrosmog or dirty electricity are your 60 hertz power line frequencies. And all the appliances in your house are kind of going to be operating at these frequencies. I throw CLFs in there, are compact fluorescent lights, because they're so unhealthy. And again, check out my book for reasons why. So you have the 60 hertz power line frequencies. And you also have the microwave, like 4G networks. And all the modern technology that we're used to with cordless phones, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, smart meters, you know, a lot of these are operating at microwave frequencies. In fact, the 4G network is almost identical to the frequency that's used by microwave ovens. I want to now briefly go over some action steps you can do to clear your house of electrosmog. And in my book, I give detailed explanations as to why you want to, to consider doing these steps. Number one Get rid of cordless phones and use only wired or corded phones in your house because they are one of the worst offenders of electrosmog. Number two, minimize cell phone usage as much as possible. Number three, turn Wi-Fi off when you're not using it and directly plug your internet um, into the Ethernet cable. Number four, get rid of all compact fluorescent light bulbs in your house and replace with incandescent lights. In my book, I talk in detail why compact fluorescent light bulbs are very, very harmful and just not good for you. Number five, avoid high EMF appliances as much as possible and keep a safe safe distance from them. Number six, don't use cordless baby alarms. They're safer corded alternatives. Number seven, avoid water beds, electric blankets, and alarm clocks. Number eight, try not to live near a cell phone tower. And there's a website called Antenna Search. Opt out of smart meter installation, and of course, invest in an earth-based PEMF device. In my book, I I, I talk about all the benefits at how earth-based PEMF devices can actually cleanse your body of all the static electricity that you can accumulate from electrosmog devices. I'll continue this discussion in the next video of the series. For a much more detailed explanation of PEMF, please be sure to check out my book at PEMFbook.com. You can instantly download three free chapters there. I always welcome your questions, comments, and feedback. Get in touch with me at PEMFbook.com forward slash contact. I sincerely hope the information in these videos will help you in your quest for greater health, happiness, and well-being. 